I recommend the awakening to others. And the reason why is because if you look at our society, the way that things are set, we spend so much time focused on shit that doesn't matter. We spend so much time focusing on keeping up with the Joneses, getting to the next thing, you know, packing money in the 401k, living for the type of life that's going to happen later. Like we're always planning for later. The problem is you don't know if there's a later. This is the reason why you got to get dialed in, focus and live now. And where that begins is with yourself. Because if you're not on point, if you're not solid, then I promise you, the rest of your world is fucked up in some way. And so the awakening allows that. It eliminates all the bullshit. It eliminates all the clutter that's going on. If you're anything like me, you've, you've had times where you feel like you're going a thousand directions at once. And when that happens, you end up staying in the same place. You end up going nowhere. This is the opportunity to hit the reset button, to get focused. You know, you can't go 110 miles all uh, miles an hour all the time. At some point or another, you know, you have to step off the gas and you need to refuel. And that's really what the awakening was for me, it was an opportunity to step away, to truly for it to be a retreat and to step away and a- away from the rest of the world and into myself. See, I've spent so much of my life, so much of my time taking care of other people that Very often what happens is I forget to take care of myself. I've been so focused on getting ahead. I've been so focused on taking care of other people. I've been so focused on everything that is outside of me. And so the awakening particularly called to me because it was like, okay, listen, understand that I'm the one building my life. I'm the one taking care of my kids. I'm the one uh, building business. You know, in my case, I'm the one taking care of my patients. If I'm not on point, physically, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, I can't give that higher quality. I have to give that to myself first. I have to give that gift to myself first. And then the only place that it comes from is getting reset and learning how to invest time in me. What it was for me was an opportunity for me to test my character, to test my metal, to test my physicality, um, and to test my mental strength. By doing so, that that leads to a place where that's when you can get to the really to the nitty gritty. It's really when you can get to the spiritual side and the emotional side that so often we have so much going on all the time. I know I do that. I kind of put those those pieces of myself to the back burner that I don't, I don't engage with enough. And the awakening allowed that for me is to get to that point where I could really, really engage with myself on a deeper level. I invite you to take a look at yourself. Particularly, take a look at the parts of your life that aren't working and then ask yourself the next question, why? Why is it not working? Nine times out of 10, It's going to be because you're not at a place where you're truly focused. You're not at a place physically where you're you're, you're happy with your body, where your body is doing all the things that you want it to do. That you're not at a place emotionally where you're stable, where you're flying off the handle at shit. I invite you to come to the awakening, hit the reset button, and get dialed in.